Good morning, Solar fans. Solar DIY. It's Garfield sign on. It's a quick video. Um, shortly after my last video, a buddy of mine, um, you know, called me and told me that you know he's into car audio and he's looking for some Ford C Max batteries to configure for his um, amplifiers in his um, in his vehicle. However, he had two Tesla modules, so if I wanted to trade with him, so I told him, sure, no problem. So I gave him my um, five uh, Ford C Max battery that I had over there, plus 500 bucks. And he took those, and I got these Tesla packs from him, two of them. One right here, and the other here. Incorporate into my system, and everything is working fine. Shortly after that, another buddy of mine called me and says, Garfield, I ordered some Life PO4 batteries from China from February. He just got them over um, about the last week in October. He finally got them. But by then he already put in a claim and dispute everything, got his money back. But the cell came in last week in October, all dented and broken terminal. Anyway, um, during that time, he said, you know what, to hell with it. So he got that whole thing from um, from that whole solar set up from Georgia Power with the Generac system. And then he offered me the life be of four batteries, 16 of them. Said, hey, dude, you could have them. I'm not going to mess with these things. So there they are. I got 16 of them. Um, broken terminals from two, then terminals, and you know, a lot of dents, and just about all of the cells. He said, You know what? I don't want to mess with these things. You know what? I'm not selling them to you. you. You could have them. Do whatever you want to do with them. So from the um, last week of October, Till now I've been playing around with these cells, uh, charging and discharging and charging and discharging and doing um, 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 resistance tests and so forth and so on. Anyway, um, I managed to incorporate eight of them in my system right over here. So I have an active balancer sitting on top of it. And likewise, a 50 amp um Dali, Dali um DMS. I don't have to go bigger than 50 amp because I got so much storage here that I'm not even pulling so much power from all these cells. So 50 amps was just quite fine for me. So I have eight batteries here um, in my system working. I limit the charge as you know my system here is uh, max voltage is 25.2 volts but I only ch charge my cells up to um, 25.1 or sometimes just 25. So I have eight of the cell here uh, working and I'm still working on these. I'm presently um, charging and discharging the cell as they go along. But as you could see, there are some of the big dents and all these. Uh, terminals, uh, see what we're talking about, broken terminals, but I figured out how to fix that, so that's not a fun problem, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, that's what's going on, and that's another 50 amp uh, Dali BM is here, I don't need anything bigger than that, because like I say, I got so much storage. So that's that's just what it is. So 
so far um, these are um, fully charged at 3.6 volts then I'm when I'm finished with these and this then I'll parallel them again and then drain them drain them down and recharge so that's what I've been working on one anyway, that's a quick chit chat Garfield signing off